I have two apps currently in the App Store. There's Educate. It's an app for sponsoring Ugandan news. And there's also, also iPort, an app for models and actors and other uh, artists to show off their portfolios. How does it work? Uh, well, it allows the user to have a customized portfolio. You can customize the table, you can customize the book, and you can edit the images in your portfolio so that you could have multiple portfolios and, and show multiple portfolios for different castings. How do you make money? There is some advertising, and there's also um, an, an in-app upgrade for $4.99. You know, what I want to know is, how do you reconcile mm -hmm. the obvious difference between the two things that you do with your life? On the one hand, as a model, mm -hmm. you're an object, right? And on the other, you're clearly somebody who's got some brain power who puts it to use, developing apps. As a model, I've never felt like an object. There's an artistic aspect to what I do. Uh, you, you put on these different outfits, you become these different characters, and you try to convey these different emotions. And there's a creativity involved in that that's similar to the creativity that's involved when I'm making my apps. Matchmaker is your next project. Yes. As I sit here across from you, I think the last thing on earth you need is a matchmaker. Tell us that one. <laughs> I don't know where your sources are, but I, I, I like them a lot. <laughs> if they think that I'm, I don't need this product. Uh, it's hard being in New York and going out and meeting people who are like you. It's very difficult. So with the matchmaker... Hang on a second. A, a model like you, re truly, honestly, yeah. you're having a hard time meeting somebody who's like yourself. Not, you, I'm sure you're not looking for a male model who happens to be a computer <laughs> geek in his spare time, but I mean, really, you, you're developing this app matchmaker out of a sense of, partly out of a sense of personal well, frustration? Well, one, it's not easy in general, but it's not just for love. It's also for friendship and also for business. So say you're at a bar or a business mixer or even just walking down the street. You set your match criteria, your profile information, and your search radius, and it will notify you when there are matches who are uh, compatible with you in your immediate area. How is that different from Tinder? Um, for one, it's more targeted, and it'll notify you when there's someone in your vicinity. So it, it checks your personality, and it checks the other people's personality in your area, and it'll notify you specifically when this person is someone that you should be talking to. So it, basically it's a way to promote real life social networking and prevent misconnections from happening. It seems like it would take an extraordinary amount of coding to create yeah. this app. What yeah, went into it? Um, I, I'm very focused when I code, so it took me only two months for this first version. To do this particular app, it relied heavily on some of iOS 7's new capabilities. Uh, and so I had to research what iOS 7 was capable of and incorporate that into my app. I needed to put together a proximity algorithm, I needed to put together a compatibility alg algorithm, and I needed to um, have a back-end server to help support all of this. Did you do all the coding yourself? Yes. Why is it that you think there aren't enough women coding? We watch mm -hmm. Rush Mershajani and her Girls Who Code initiative. Code Academy mm -hmm. is yes, trying yes, yes. to attract women. Why don't more women want to code? I think in general in our country we have a major issue of making computer science accessible in the first place. It's only taught in one out of every ten high schools right now. and. Computer programming is actually, it really is a lot of fun, and I challenge anyone who doesn't think that it's fun to try code.org, Hour of Code, and they have a drag and drop interface which will allow you to basically make your own program. It's super important right now. Computer science jobs are growing twice as fast as the average job in our country, and the fact that we have so few women and people of color involved, it's a huge detriment to our society.